I challenged you to make a Geometry Dash level completely locked to the grid, although there were a few exceptions. The rules got kinda complicated, so I won't go into them again, but that's about the gist of it. And oh my god, that's a lot of entries. Some of these are just layouts or unfinished, or both. And some of them are CC4 Machine by Nebula. I I'm not kidding, this is an actual entry. Yeah, that's the entire thing. A completely earned dead last. But with that said, there's also a ton of really sick entries, and I want to cover as many as I can. I can't cover all of them, but check out the playlist in the description to see every level in this contest pretty lazily ranked. By the way, dropping the whole scoring system I had in previous contests, to be honest, most of what I did with that was just bullshit I made up. I just placed levels I like more higher on the list, that's about it. For this video, I'll be showing the top 10 entries because 5 is just not enough. I'll also throw in some honorable mentions where I can. Speaking of honorable mentions, Hidden From Sight is a sick little level made by the one and only unknown. It sits at number 14, being brought down by its short length and frankly kind of annoying gameplay. Still, I really love a lot of the things this level tries and the atmosphere is great. Unknown made a video about building this level and you should check it out, link in the description. At numbers 12 and 13 we have Puzzle Land and Hunter vs W. I don't get the name either. These levels are really messy and unpolished, which brings them down, but man, they just got so much charm. Hunter vs W includes this awesome Wubba Duck boss fight. All memes aside, this rotating effect is goddamn sick as hell. He does get roasted at the end, so sorry, gotta bump this down for the Wubba Duck abuse. Finally, I Don't Love You Anymore by ICYX sits right at number 11. There's nothing super noteworthy about this level, the block design's just really well put together. Honestly, I just mentioned it because it barely missed the top 10. And on that note, why don't we just dance right in to number 10. Dance Jam Dance by Ghostly is, for a start, impossible to bot. Thanks to Dolphy for letting me use their showcase, appreciate it. As far as the looks go, this level's really good. The designs are really creative, paired with some eye candy animations. Okay, wow. But there's just one problem. It's bad. Most of the gameplay is pretty mid, but this mini game part here is where it really starts to stink. The concept itself is really cool, actually. The player moves left and right on a grid with a cool little animation. It's just... the execution is really not there. Super unbalanced with a lot of random mechanics and oh my god, just let me restart already. To be fair, mini games are pretty hard to make, but at the end of the day, level's just not fun. Though the fact that it's still even in the top 10 is a testament to its decoration. I love Hololands by Mcell. Uh, that's not just because I made the song. Actually, a yeah, fun fact, this is my menu music, so this kind of felt really weird to play. But while the atmosphere is unreal and the decoration looks really sick, it just feels so static. I get it's a calm song, but even the parts that weren't some kind of pulse or movement. Yeah, nothing really happens. On top of that, the level could really stand to be a bit longer, but either way, sick level. Thanks for using my song.
gonna be honest, Uvector isn't the most unique level on this list. It looks a lot like a Knots level, who's a creator that is copied honestly way too much. There's some pretty creative design using this contest's limitations, and the atmosphere's good. Overall, a well-deserved number 8. Right order. So for some reason Megahack would just break every time I tried to bot this level, so uh, please don't mind my terrible no clip. Visually, this level's really solid. Some parts are better than others, ranging from like, top 15 quality to some of the best deco in this entire contest. As for the gameplay, I didn't really like it. I'll be fair, it's mostly just not my kind of gameplay, but it is pretty unbalanced with some really awkward bits. Still, solid level. Cubis really stands out, and I like that. While most of the people entering this contest went with a more art-based style, yet uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that, went with a more modern approach. And honestly crushed it. There's some really creative designs here, and the colors are eye candy. Although, with all that said, a lot of parts are pretty messy. But with a bit more polish, this has some crazy potential. That's about it. Here's the level.
hold up. Before we get into the top five, I want to show some more honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Snake Blocks by Tangent Man shows off a really cool idea with a banger song. I just wish there was more than, well, this. Even just some color changes would have helped a lot. There literally could not be less variety here. Snap to Grid tries a similar gimmick with some great execution. It's just too bad the rest of the level is kinda mid. Blocky Mess by Infernus has a similar issue where most of the level is pretty repetitive and bland. And then just out of nowhere, it hits you with this wave part. Dude, this looks sick. I wish the rest of the level looked this good. Grid locking is fun. Yeah, uh, no, there's nothing special about this level, I just thought it was cute. And finally, Latisse. Late, latest, la there's nothing in particular that stands out about this level. About as generic as generic gets, but still, it's well put together. Landing it at a humble number 15. Burger King Foot Lettuce. Back from the break, it's time for our top 5. Have you ever wondered how carrots are made? Well, lucky for us, Carroty Spice gives us a once in a lifetime tour of the one and only Carrot Factory. This level looks good. The designs are creative and well put together. My favorite part's this trash compactor. I love the way it squishes the blocks. That's really creative. My only real gripe with this level is just how short it is. There's really only 55 seconds of actual content. And while the decoration isn't the best in the entire contest, I gotta say, this gameplay do be bangin'. Definitely one of the most fun levels here. Flatline by Hoopy Glue might be a slightly controversial choice. This definitely gives off quote unquote experimental vibes. Hey guys, I just finished my 70th Nelv sequel. This time, even more object spam. It really sucks more creators don't experiment like I do. Yeah, I don't think that's the case with this level. Flatline genuinely does a great job of matching its song, and most of the designs and effects are actually really creative. Also, you all know I'm a sucker for long stuff, and this level's got a respectable 3 minutes. Great theming, pretty fun gameplay, solid level.
Before I show you the top three, I got some special honorable mentions. The following two levels weren't even actually finished, but from seeing the parts that were, they had a lot of potential. The Vermin Queen by Yorid was a sequel to his other level of tunneling vermin made for my third creator contest. That would have been really cool to see, but I get floating outskirts is a bit of a priority. Looking forward to that, by the way. Dude, shit goes hard. This level here by Kilobit doesn't seem to have a name, but it's a very strong start. The use of text hacks is a really cool idea I didn't really see anyone else explore, and... This atmosphere is really good. Both of these levels might actually be finished according to the creators, maybe, possibly, so that'd be cool if that happens. It's time for the top three. Nuclear by Mikrez. This level's kinda weird. When ranking these levels, I tried to find ones that think outside the box a bit, and out of all these entries, this one might be doing that the best. If you hear people throwing around the word experimental in this game, just show them this level and they'll know what that really means. While the earlier parts are fucking sick, this level does kind of fall off later on. The background's great, but nothing else here really lands. The main thing keeping this from placing higher, though, is its gameplay, especially towards the end. The dual desyncing is a cool idea that fits the song, but it's just not pulled off very well. Eh, better than worship at least. Just chalk it up to Brain Eater to make a banger. Yeah, this level's really good. Great movements, super clean designs, and the colors... Uh, they've got a charm to them. Honestly, for how well put together this is, it almost won the contest. There isn't really anything to complain about here. It might also be the most fun entry in the entire contest. This gameplay is really good. It's just... That's really it. This level doesn't fail anywhere because... Besides, I guess, the colors, it doesn't really try anything. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't call this generic, although it is clearly inspired by Rust. With all that said, it's a really solid level, and it's a goddamn shame it didn't get epic. Gotta love those rating standards.
So, uh, I'm interrupting the video again. I'm sorry, we just got a few more honorable mentions, then we're done. Eye of the Temple is a level that starts off really good. I was feeling some top 10 energy. It's just... Yeah, uh, that looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Man, you started off so good, all you had to do was not blatantly copy another level. From the same contest! Level's also pretty short, so that bumps it down a bit. Emerald demo may be simple, but not every level needs a lot for it to work. Some of the parts pull off this more minimal style really well, but some of them are kinda mediocre. Wow, green. But I do want to reiterate, this level does have some really good parts. Crimson Corolla is a fever dream, and I kinda dig it. But at the end of the day, it's still a bit of a mess. The bigger issue is its gameplay though. Difficulty literally ranges between medium demon and like, artificial ascent. And the harder parts are kind of the worst ones, which is, that's never a good thing. Still, I like this aesthetic for some reason, and it does try some pretty cool things, so I thought I'd mention it. But with all those out of the way, whatever could be our top entry? That's right, it's time for... The more I look at Core Complex, the more it grows on me. This level was originally at number 5, and looking back, I have no idea why I placed it there. I guess it does kinda pull heavy inspiration from Yo Read, but it very much does its own thing with it. Now for a start, the attention to detail in this level is crazy. I love all the little bits of art scattered around. Considering the limitations, these are really creative. This level has amazing progression and fits the song perfectly. Incredible atmosphere, pretty decent gameplay. Yeah, I just wish it went on for longer. Enjoy. <laughs> 